Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm back with my replay of my uh, week 6 match from the Smogon Premier League. This time I'm playing my boy Steve Angelo or uh, Tim, pretty good friend of mine. Um, I'm again playing for the Wi-Fi Wolfpack as he's playing for the Raiders. And uh, if you guys don't know what the Smogon Premier League is, it's basically you're on a team and uh, you're matched up week per week, about 9 weeks and then playoffs and um, you know semi-finals, whatever it's called. And, uh, you know, you just try and win it. So I'm on the Wi-Fi Wolfpack. He's on the Raiders. And I just laughed when I saw his team because I saw so many Xerneas checks. Klefki, Ho-Oh, Primal Groudon. So uh, he definitely came prepared for me. But I do have a few tricks up my sleeve. So without further ado, let's actually get into this match. It's pretty rare of me that I'm able to post uh, a day after this because I usually have to play my opponents Saturday or Sunday or Friday depending on what they do but we decided not to be John so we play first blood right here and let's get right into it so I'm leading off my Groudon and he's gonna lead off with his Ho-Oh I'm actually regular Groudon because um, my team would have had an issue with Primal Groudon plus E-Killer if I was Primal Groudon so his Ho-Oh is actually faster than me as I am uh, running a bit of speed to outspeed the standard Ho-Oh build but because he is sub he is able to outspeed me as I go for my Stealth Rocks expecting his next sub and then I'm just gonna roar him out unfortunately I phase him out into his Giratina so that is gonna be a free defog for him as I am able to go out to my Xerneas. Now, I'm going to pull a double out into my Arceus. The reason being is because I thought that he might go back out into Ho-Oh. Um, with the sun being up, one, Thunder is only 50% accurate, and two, standard Ho-Oh has uh, a spread that lives plus two Thunder if it's at near full HP. So I pulled that double into my Arceus because I do have Stone Edge on my Arceus. And I figured that Xerneas would at least bring in one of his uh, Xerneas checks, whether it be Ho-Oh, Klefki or Groudon, and I do have a Lumberry on this Arceus, so I can deal with all of them. So he ends up bringing out his Primal Groudon. I'm okay with this, just gonna go right for the Earthquake, as unfortunately for him, I do get a crit. Now that crit does matter because if I do go plus two with my Xerneas, I can uh, knock him out with Moonblast right here. So he's gonna go for Lava Plume, does not get the burn. Didn't really matter because I do have my Lumberry. Now I'm pull a double out into my Xerneas, predicting him to want to go out into his Giratina. Uh, this Giratina is actually one of the few things stopping my E Killer from putting in work versus his team so I definitely wanted to bait that thing in with my Xerneas and um, though it is kind of early I am going to go for Geomancy the reason being is even with Regenerator Ho-Oh will not be back at above 90 something percent so if I did have Thunder I don't have Thunder but if I did have Thunder um, he would not be able to go back out on a Ho-Oh because if I hit it I'd be able to knock him out so he forced out the Clefie I did go for Geomancy early because I am Geomancy Aromatherapy my favorite Geomancy set and I'm actually running HP Fire on this Xerneas the reason being is the pass uh, weeks that Steve Angelo had played Ubers, he used Mega Scizor and he used Extra Drill Sand. So I ran enough speed on the Xerneas to outspeed Extra Drill in Sand at plus two. So the Xerneas is hella fast, and um, he is gonna Thunder Wave me as I do reveal the HP Fire. It didn't really matter because Moonblast would have took a KO'd anyway. But uh, I am able to go for the HP Fire as now I'm just gonna go right for Moonblast as he chooses to play Rough Me, which was a good play because it puts me in range of Ho O's. Uh, Brave Bird or Sacred Fire. Now, he goes out to Ho-Oh. He could have potentially subbed right here, but I did go for Aromatherapy that way. Um, well, obviously, if I got paralyzed right there, it could have been bad if he went for sub. But I did end up going for Aromatherapy right here as he chose to go right for the Brave Bird, knocking me out as uh, because Klefki is down, he does not have much for my Latios at all. So Latios is going to put in a lot of work right here. Just going to click Psy Shock as it would knock out the Ho-Oh. And it 2 KOs um, almost everything on his team as he is going to sack his Primal Groudon. So uh, there's going to be like no Stealth Rock this game. So he goes out to his Arceus Water. I decided to stay in and go for Psy Shock. The reason being is because... Um, because his Giratina was defogged, this was definitely going to be Calm Mind. I wasn't sure if it would be Calm Mind Refresh. If it was Calm Mind Refresh, uh, that means that Salamence beats it. Uh, because Calm Mind Refresh runs Calm Mind, Refresh, Recover, and Judgment. So Salamence would be able to beat it because this is Arceus Water. If it's Calm Mind, Recover, two attacks, uh, depending on the spread, Klefki can um, like cripple it with Toxic. So I just go for Psy Shock right here just to gauge the damage. He's definitely running a lot of defense and HP, probably for my Mega Ments. So uh, because like I said, uh, this is a team tour and he... He uh, has probably watched my replays, so that's probably running Ice Beam just for my Mega Salamence, so he definitely did his homework right there. But I'm going to take just an opportunity to go out to my Klefki because I did expect him to go for Recover right there. I'm just going to drop a Toxic as, uh, <laughs> drop a Toxic. 
<laughs> tried to use one of my catchphrases right there uh, in toxic form but i'm able to hit the ho which is amazing um weakening it as one of his only clefki checks right here as i'm gonna go out to my latios and just gonna click side shock as he decides to sack his ho maybe he could have went out to his giratina right there as opposed to ho expecting my side shock just to get off damage with the shadow sneak the thing is though, now my Klefki puts in a lot of work versus him, so he goes out into his Giratina, I know I could take a Shadow Sneak, just gonna drop a Draco as I do connect, get rid of his Giratina O, and that leaves a huge opening for my E-Killer, so he goes out into his Arceus Water, now I do have Memento on that Latios, I'm sorry that I am pausing it, but I'm really trying to explain my thought process as well as his, because these are high level matches, um, I do have Memento on my Latios, but I didn't want to go for it, because, well, I'm pretty sure this thing is Ice Beam. Because if he runs will o -Wisp, then he's so weak to uh, Refreshment. So he has to run Ice Beam, especially because he has all that defense on him. Just based on my Soul Dew boosted Side Shock. That's a choice spec Side Shock doing 37% to an Arceus Water. So, I went out to my Klefki because um, in the Sun, one Judgment would not do anything even after plus one. And the two, I didn't want to go for Memento just yet because uh, Mewtwo can live a plus two Adamant Extreme Speed because I am Lumberry, not uh, Silk Scarf. So what I wanted to do was go out to Klefki, Toxic this thing, and then go for a Spike um, if if I needed to because it would have put this Mewtwo in range of plus two Extreme Speed. And then I could have Mementoed up with my Latios knowing that it was already faster than his Arceus Water. So that was my game plan right there. But he uh, is going to go for the Combine as I am just going to go right for Toxic. Now, he does get a crit with his um, Judgment right here. A little bit scary because it could mean that Mewtwo could be a bit threatening. Though I am thinking it's stall 2 wide because Tim loves that. Uh, as I am going to go out to my Latios, he gets another crit. Uh, again, a little bit annoying. I, uh, I could have went for Memento right here. I probably should have. But at the same time, I figured it wouldn't really matter because... Um, I would want to go for Psyshock just to put him in range of extreme speed anyway with the toxic damage. If I went for Memento, Mewtwo would still be at full HP. It could live a plus two extreme speed from Arceus. So I thought that Psyshock was the better play right there. As uh, with the Psyshock damage and the toxic, his uh, Arceus water is in range of my extreme speed. So he's going to be forced to go out into his Mewtwo right here as it does tank this extreme speed. Now, like I said, Tim loves um, like stall 2. Why? Uh, the only reason that I was thinking it wasn't stall 2 was because uh, this... This thing is exerting its pressure, so um, it probably isn't the support set with uh, with Unnerve. That way, uh, it could basically uh, will o wisp me regardless of my Lumberry. But uh, I, I kind of thought this was a 50-50, even though he still could be stall 2Y. Uh, again, I'm just thinking because Tim loves that, so I'm thinking based on my knowledge of his gameplay and stuff like that. So I decided to actually go out into my uh, Klefki. I thought it was a 50-50 where he would go for Will-O-Wisp or the Taunt, but it actually turns out he's Mega Mewtwo X, goes for Low Kick as I eat that up, and now I can just click ta um, Thunder Wave. It doesn't matter that he has Arceus Water because that's his last Mon, and what I can do right here is actually just go for um, a Spike because I will put his Mewtwo X in range of Extreme Speed. Uh, but uh, I am going to choose to switch out into my Arceus because I was expecting him to want to go for recover right here. I don't want him to get too many boosts because I am really thinking that he's running Ice Beam on this thing. He actually confirmed with me later on that he was running Ice Beam. So if he gets too many boosts and if he actually has enough speed for my Salamence before I Mega Evolve, I could lose right there. So I'm just going to go out to my Arceus um, as he is going to hit me with a Judgment. And at that range of HP, I'm not able to knock him out. But combined with the Poison damage, he is going to go down. And his last is his Mega Mewtwo X, which I can just T-Wave and... Um, and cripple and then if Klefki doesn't beat it then Salamence does but I do get the full pair right here allowing Klefki to just connect with a play rough and uh, knock out his Mega Mewtwo X so um, one play that he felt that he could have done was uh, he was telling me later was go out to his Mega Mewtwo X because he actually had Ice Punch on it and uh, it was a roll if it knocked out my Latios so it wasn't my favor but if I got damage off on him I feel like E-Killer would have done a lot of work um, definitely him sacking Giratina like helped me so much because I have Stone Edge, Extreme Speed, and Earthquake on my E Killer. So yeah, basically, um, it was a good game. I uh, Klefki just basically <laughs> putting the team on his back. But yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like. It really does help and support my channel. It helps me grow, so I do appreciate them. Feel free to leave any comments or any questions if you have. I will do my best to answer them. And uh, subscribe if you want. So until next time, later.